Yes, sir, it is done. It's done. Okay, okay. Yes, so, sir. Okay, so today we are going to take a painting topic, and uh, that painting topic is first. I will be covering the theory part of the painting. Okay, so first theory part I will cover, and then I will cover the practical part. Okay. So first, what happens now in painting? Uh, your uh, this. Uh, we have there are sequence in painting like first is poster colors then is your watercolors then is your acrylic colors then is your uh, oil paints and so on okay so these are the and then the neon paint so these are the types of uh, paints which are available in the market okay so these are now what happens let us go a little bit in the history for just 5 minutes and just see Like first, in olden days, is how the painting came into established and how the painting started. Okay, now people used to search or hunt for foods and all. So they used to draw over the, they used to inscribe, take a stone and inscribe over the, uh, over the caves and all, like animal sculptures and all. And then they used to hunt those animals and then they used to, uh. uh That capture those animals and eat and all and okay. So from that place, from that point of law uh, point, there was no uh, company or there was no manufacturing company or something. They used to use natural paints. They used to make paints naturally by mixing the uh, by uh, grinding the things. Like if they want to make yellow color, they used to use yellow color flour. If they want to make a uh, green color, they used to make green color flour. Okay, if they want to make a uh, orange color, they will make orange color flower. Okay, if they want to use yellow color, they will use a cow urine for yellow color. Okay, so if they want to use brown color, they will use a soil color which is brown color. So these are all the detailed structures what was been followed over the period of time, and slowly and gradually as the development happened, like in in uh, Gupta era is called as a golden era in Indian art. Okay, so Indian art golden era is Gupta era. So as the Gupta era came and all the art came into innovations and all, and then slowly and gradually we can see that uh, this uh, we can see that now many painting manufacturing companies are there. We can see paints, we can see oil paints, we can see acrylic paints, we can see uh, poster colors, we can see water colors, we can see all those various types of things. Okay, so today I am not going to do anything practical work with you. I am going to do a theory topic with you all, which is very very important. See, because what happens now? First, you have to train your brains. If your brains are trained very well, very properly, then only you can train your hands, and then only you can move ahead with your work. So this is all about uh, your uh, just of explanation about your painting uh, history. Now let us move ahead with the next. Uh, Coming session or next next uh, coming uh, topic, which is now why is painting important in your life? What is the importance of painting? We saw history of painting. We will see importance of painting. Now, what is the importance to express someone's feeling or to express someone's emotions or to devote someone or to express or to display someone's uh, creativity? Okay, over a piece of a paper with a paint brush and a paint is called as painting, and thus it is very much important to make paints very to make a painting very much feasible. Okay, so these are all the detailed structures of the painting which I have said. Okay, now moving forward with the next topic is your painting. Why uh, importance of painting? Okay, importance of painting is very much important because. Nowadays, what happened? You no, know, like a uh, daily structure, daily routine, uh, daily structure, daily routine. People are now doing paints in on canvases. Now there are types of paper which you need to understand. So the first type of paper, which is the normal notebook paper, which we all know. Okay, in that we write. Next paper, next type of a paper is your cartridge paper. Okay, now cartridge paper is used for watercolors and poster colors. Next is your uh, Cancel paper, C A N S O N. Cancel paper. Cancel paper. I will tell you when it has to be purchased, and then that time you can purchase. We we need not need to require now. Okay, cancel paper is also called as a cold press paper. 
those are used for watercolors and acrylic paints then handmade papers are used handmade papers are used for your watercolors okay oil sheets are available oil sheets and acrylic sheets are used for acrylic painting okay oil paintings are used for in oil sheets okay so these are the qualities of paper and depending upon the quality of paint we change the paper quality as well okay like for poster colors we will go for cartridge for uh, watercolors we will go for handmade paper for acrylics we will go for cancel paper for uh, this for acrylics we can also go for acrylic sheets or oil sheets for oil paint we will go for oil sheets so these all are the structures and these all are the papers which are used throughout the difference between the uh, drawings or difference between the paintings or what we call a head okay so these all were the detailed explanation of those particular things now moving forward with the next uh, jam which is types of paper is done importance of painting is done uh, history of painting is done now which paint i have recommended you see the first stage of painting is poster colors okay so i have recommended poster colors to you all and colors are very much uh, open up quality if you can write this thing in your book if you want poster color is opaque in nature okay poster color is opaque in nature now what does this opaque mean opaque means the thickness okay so the poster color is opaque in nature watercolor is transparent in nature acrylic color is pigment in nature pigment is very very thick wherein you can't add a single drop of water so acrylic paints and oil paints we never add a single drop of water okay for painting we use raw colors paint in acrylics and in oil paints but in poster colors we add water in equal proportion equal proportion of water with equal proportion of paint water colors we add more of water and less of colors okay so acrylics we never add water oil we never add water okay so these are all neon we never add water so these all are the ticks and tones which you need to remember before doing painting okay now um, Till here, everyone clear? Just tell me a yes or no subject. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, handmade paper yes and the normal notebook paper normal Cancel notebook paper cartridge paper, paper. Cartridge paper. Cartridge paper. paper oil paper acrylic oil paper. paper acrylic yes. paper what are the types acrylic of paper. painting which i have discussed with you all now poster color acrylic poster color, color water color poster color acrylic color and one more type is there which is that acrylic type acrylic color Acrylic, acrylic paint. Acrylic paint. Or neon paint. Neon paint is there. Oil paint is there. Acrylic paints are there. Water colors are there. They're there. Okay. Now one more thing you need to remember that in art, in visual art, or in painting, or in fine arts, there is one rule, or that is one thumb rule which you need to remember, which is. black and white is not a color okay black and white is not a color black and white is a neutral okay black and white is a neutral black and white is not a color in example i would like to quote over here in olden days there used to be a black and white tv okay slowly and gradually colorful tv came into invention okay so black and white is not a color black and white is a neutral okay it is not a color except black and white whatever colors are there those are colors yellow blue green pink all those color all those are colors but black and white is not a color got it till here which is not a color sir black, black and white black and white black and white, and white. Black and white. Okay. okay fine okay now 
one more thing i would like to put over here one more thing i would like to put over here uh pigment is done segment is done okay now what are what is color wheel how many of you will know what is color wheel how many of you will know what is color wheel sir so there are seven colors if you turn it it will become white uh yes that is also color theory which has been designed by newton so in that newton says that all the seven colors of a rainbow if it uh, mix and then it comes into a white color which we can say that is your uh, theoretical explanation or that is your natural explanation but when we talk about your artificial explanation if you mix all the seven colors you will never get a white color isn't it you will get a very black color instead of getting a white color okay so this is the thing which you need to uh, understand that is a, a law of newton that comes into color theory subject so when we will study color theory subject that time we will i will explain you how many of you all know what is color wheel color wheel what is color wheel no i will tell shall i tell sir color wheel is okay. a wheel of seven colors no no primary colors and secondary colors and uh, something else tertiary like. colors see first we will study this very basically first we will study this what are primary colors primary colors are red yellow and blue okay in this so you can, if you want you can write down in your book red yellow and blue are your primary colors red is red is the original form of red the original form of red is scarlet red yellow original form of yellow is lemon yellow blue original form of blue is cerulean blue okay there are various kinds of blue persian blue cerulean blue ultramarine blue verdian blue uh, persian blue and all in that cerulean blue is the real form of blue yellow there are various types of yellow medium yellow chrome yellow light yellow lemon yellow or yellow green many type of yellow in that we have lemon yellow as a primary colors which is your main motto main color red red is your next which is scarlet red okay scarlet red is your color which is your which color which is your red color real form is scarlet red because there are many types of red primary red crimson red okay scarlet red scarlet red is your original type of red okay till here everyone clear primary colors what i have explained primary yes. colors cannot be made primary colors are by default colors that cannot be made by mixing any colors till here clear yes sir yes okay. sir now now secondary Means colors secondary colors main colors yes secondary colors are mixture of um, or combination of two primary colors for like example if i am taking red and yellow or either i am taking yellow and blue or either i am taking blue and red so it's a mixture of two primary colors so we are having three colors in primary colors and three colors in secondary colors if you mix red and yellow it will become orange if you mix green and blue it will become green if you mix blue and red it will become violet or purple and so on okay now another part in this if you add white in this it will be light orange if you add uh, green if you add white in green it will become light green if you add violet in this it will become light violet if you add little black in this it will become a uh, dark orange dark green dark uh, violet and so on so black and white is not a color black and white is a neutral wherein we add that to balance the things okay 
so for balancing the things it is very much important so till here secondary colors can be mixed using the primary color shades till here clear everyone yes sir yes sir okay yes, now sir. which is yes, intermediate colors intermediate colors or secondary colors or sorry intermediate colors or tertiary colors are a mixture of one primary shade and secondary shade in that one color i'm taking from primary another color i'm taking from secondary okay so example here they have quoted the red they have taken over here red they have taken orange they have taken red and orange will become red orange yellow they have taken then green they have taken that will give you leaf green color then blue they have taken then they have taken violet which will give you ultra color which is ultra marine color next red they have taken and violet they have taken which will give you red violet okay which is your magenta color next next is yellow they have taken orange they have taken which will give you deep yellow color okay blue they have taken green they have taken which will give you blue green color which is your sea green color okay so these all are the things which you need to just understand which you need to just uh, make sure and then accordingly you need to just plan all with the things okay so this was all about color wheel now what is color wheel i will teach you to make a color wheel okay in the next class in the next practical class i will teach you how to make a color wheel okay in that color wheel we will understand how to draw a color wheel how to paint a color wheel what are the laws regarding color wheel and so on okay till here all clear shall i move ahead with the rules of painting yes sir yes sir okay okay so rules of painting is as the number of the brush increases the thickness increases example if i am taking two number brush the two number is a small number so the thickness will also be small it will be thin if i am taking a 10 number brush 10 number brush thickness will be more because the number is also more so as the number increases the brush size increases as the number decreases the brush size decreases got it till here shall i move ahead yes sir as the number of the brush decreases the number also becomes the, the size also becomes thin as i just discussed now outline has to be done with black ball pen before painting what i said before painting black ball pen outline black ball pen outline has to be done ball pen clearly specifically i have mentioned ball pen has to be used no using sketch pen sketch pen ink will spread ball pen ink will not spread when it gets involved with water sketch pen ink will spread if it gets involved in water okay sketch pen ink will spread if it gets involved in water but ball pen ink will not spread if it gets involved in water okay so ball pen has to be used before painting for outline we use ball pen like sketch pen we use for oil pastels right same way for ball pen we will be painting we will be using ball pen after painting is done use black sketch pen for the finishing on the border black color now after painting is done they have said clearly see the terms after painting is done you have to use black color sketch pen for giving the finishing of the borders okay make sure you are observing the terms where it is written before painting where it is written after painting observe those terms very very cautiously it is going to work a lot with you all next proportion if you uh, if you want to make light shades use more water 
if you want to make the shades that are dark use less water till here clear agar jhada banana hai zyada pani dalna hai agar patla banana hai kam pani jhada banana hai to kam pani dalna hai aur agar patla banana hai to isko thoda zyada pani dalna hai light ban jayega okay example if you want to make it more uh batter the painting batter which will you will be mixing on a palette will become more lighter okay if you add more water in that it will become more darker if you add less water in that okay the while mixing the batter of the paint next next use big number brushes to make paint on big eight areas now once my areas are quite bigger whatever i have drawn the space of those areas are quite bigger bigger space big brush big number brush has to be used smaller space small number brush has to be used okay next no spill pot what about no spill pot no spill pot is about storing of water okay there should be three no spill pot which is use first container for the light shade second container of water for the medium shade third container of water to drip the dark shade whenever we do painting we always wash our brushes so for washing our brushes if we keep only one container of water to wash the brushes you need to you your painting will get spoil so that's why it's very much important to segregate or to segregate the containers of the paints or the containers of the water for light you will take light for dark you will take dark for medium you will take medium okay these all are the shades which you need to remember which all are the container strategies which you need to remember now need a book under your palm while painting or need a page or need a base under your palm while painting while you are painting your surface is not getting spoiled you need to take a very very care of that surface so that's why you need to be very very cautious while painting that whenever you are painting take a book or take a surface under your palm so that the palm impression is not spreading all around in your book the palm impression is not spreading all around in your book which you need to be very very, very careful okay so this was your next strategy which has been used now next strategy is what painting has to be done with a uh, tip of the brush and not with not uh, to make it like a broom whenever you do painting or whenever you do anything which you have to use your tip of the brush you will never use a painting of for you will never use a paint brush like a broom take a tip of the brush use the tip of the brush and then do it okay do it slowly whenever you are painting for the detail part hold the brush very very near if you are doing the background part hold the brush very very far away okay very very behind so for bigger area or for behind backgrounds you have to hold the brush behind and to do the detailing part you have to hold the brush very much near till here clear everyone whatever painting rules yes, i have sir. said okay i will yes, send sir. the same thing over the group only one child understood yes sir yes sir sir what is agitator sorry agitator yes sir i understood agitator what is agitator sir agitator what sir what is agitator means this agitator i didn't explain agitator i said strategy sir agitator agitator what agitator agitator what is that tell me arpana agitator is the word it's coming from agitation agitator means trouble maker but how why are you asking the meaning of that very word in the art class yeah in art class nothing is no, related and making me confused uh, can you pinpoint where did you find this word 
Uh, here. Show me. Click a picture and send in the group. I will see it now and I will clear it. From here, we can't see anything. Okay, so these all are the strategies which I have discussed. Now moving ahead with the further part. Moving ahead with the further part now. I will be now discussing with you all the color wheel and the color theory. Okay, there are temperatures of color. There are use of color. There are tints of color that I'm going to discuss you in very short theory. So just uh, be online. Mama. 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 I like the color of chin. Look a little. Mm. No, the GV teacher looks. See. This is a chapter I'm going to explain now, which is about colors. Okay. Now, color is the most essential and all component. This is all you all will read it. I'm not going to read and tell you all. I will just give a summary. Now, whenever we visualize or whenever we visualize our experience or whenever we look at any character or whenever we look at any colors, it is very much important that in graphic design or in basic concept or in drawing, it is very much important to look after the colors and according to the colors, we need to design the characters. A red color will symbolize your hotness, right? So I, as I discussed with you all, there are temperatures of color. So there are two temperatures of color, which is one temperature is warm temperature and one temperature is cool temperature. It's all not written in this book. So it is not written on my face as well. Whatever I'm telling is out of extempo tech lectures, out of experience. So there are two types of colors, uh, temperature, which is one temperature is warm temperature and one temperature is cool temperature. I would like to quote an example in this. Example in your seasons as well, whenever there is a warm season, we take a cool color or we wear cool color cloths to combat that particular season. Example, if it's a summer season, summer season is a hot season or a warm season. To combat that summer, we will wear cool color cloths. Okay. We will see cool color things all around. Example, if there is a winter season, winter season is a cool climate. In that cool climate, we will come back with a um, warm shade or warm colors. Like example, we'll, bon we'll light bonfire. Bonfire color is yellow. We'll wear uh, cloths which are very warm. So whenever warm comes we come back with hot whenever hot comes we come back with warm uh, okay so we come back with cool so cool and warm both play simultaneously and both are very very important role okay so cool colors and warm colors are the temperature now what are cool colors and what are warm colors that we will discuss further okay now i already example in this cases like the uh case of the color pigment has been mixed and all white black and everything like white and black is not a color white and black is a pigment it's a neutral shade and i have also quoted an example in this like in oh, earlier uh, days is black and white tv we used to get slowly and gradually as the invention occurred we can see yellow uh, black colorful tv in our uh, daily lifestyle okay so color in art in fine arts in visual art Black and white is not considered as a color. 
black and white is considered as a neutral okay except black and white whatever is your colors are your colors now these are color theory the color theory is a entire subject in uh, 12th standard 11th standard and also in graduation okay which is your uh, 13th 14th standard so this is properly a subject so i take this subject color theory and this is the entire for color theory there are very very detailed explanation today i will be just telling you basics as and uh, well as and when we move ahead i will tell you all i will discuss you all very much in detail okay so now color theory is a very very important to look at the perspective now what is perspective whenever we are standing and whenever you are observing with our eye level keeping 45 degree angle whatever we are observing what whether the far away things are behind or whatever the front things are very much near to us comes your perspective like okay. near things will be very much bigger near things will be drawn very or painted very very detailly behind things will be or far away things will be drawn very very uh, blur because far away things are very very blur to our eye level and near things are very very detailed to our eye level okay this talks about color perspective okay addictive color theory is what now addictive color theory are the three primary colors of a bandwidth uh, wavelength which is red blue and green okay when equal parts of each of these three brands are combined together white light is generated as per james clerk this is addictive color theory which was just one girl was telling that if you mix all the rainbow colors it will become white so that is addictive color theory okay that is not your practical color theory if in practical if something happens like in chemical colors if you mix all those things it will turn something else okay so these all were the addictive color theory and this phenomena was been generated in 18 uh, 18000 uh, 1800s okay now moving ahead with the uh, addictive color combinations with red plus green will give you yellow red plus blue will give you magenta blue plus green will give you cyan color okay so we already discussed all those things in our tertiary color wheel we already discussed all those things in our primary color wheel and so on okay now moving ahead with the further explanation which is uh, sub Subst uh, subtractive color theory. Now, what is subtractive? Now, what is uh, before moving ahead? Subtractive color scheme. I forgot to talk about RGB. RGB is red, green, and blue. Okay, which is very very popular in TV, in television screens, and all. They use RGB colors: red, yellow, and green. Okay, red, green, and uh, blue. RGB. Okay, R. G B red green and blue color are usually used in monitors of the TV monitors of the screen and these shows the brightness in the painting. If you want to show brightness in your painting, you will add red, you will add blue, you will add green. So green, red, and blue R G B will show your brightness. Okay, brightness will be denoted using these color schemes. Now subtractive color theory is what. subtractive color theory is designed by newton designed by newton and uh, the, he had said from red to violet whichever is your rainbow color scheme if you add that rainbow and if you see the rainbow in a prism like taking a prism we have already done in a science experiment taking a prism if you observe those colors you can see the color will turn into white ray light okay white ray light it will turn and it will absorb the colors now that is turned as a subtractive color theory which is designed by newton okay so addictive color theory is designed by james and subtractive color theory is designed by newton okay so these are all the theoretical part which you need to just understand before moving ahead painting you need to train your brains accordingly if you train your brains then only you will get the see Yesness of the work, and then the same thing will reflect on your work. So that's why I'm telling you all those things. Okay, now white of is uh, original white sunlight is a subtractive color scheme which has been designed. Now next is the addictive color theory is red, green, and blue, which are primary colors. White color is produced with this combination, as they have said. 
okay in case yellow object or in case the above yellow object the color blue with from white ray is absorbed by the object the object has reflected red and green rays as already discussed as per the additive color theory red plus green will give you yellow okay but i have mixed red and green red and green will give you olive green red and green is not going to give you yellow these all are the natural concepts which they are talking about these are not painting concept again and again i'm telling this these are not painting concepts they are talking about these are not painting bottle colors they are talking about they are talking about the natural colors the natural phenomena natural rainbow colors phenomena then the natural ideological colors they are talking about they are not talking about your bottle colors okay bottle colors what has to be done we will see ahead first first as we said in olden era we have to see how the olden ancient peoples used to make paints whenever artist want to paint that time there used to be no painting company or there used to be no paint bottle company who used to manufacture all those things now we get camel now we get faber castell and doms and so on and so many so many so many things so these all are the uh, are things which you need to find and these all are the Uh, strategies which the artist used to use the why the artist used to use because see what happens uh, when they used to want to paint they used to use green color leaf they used to mix the green color leaf or used to blend the green color and then the make the green color and then apply it over their paper or over their stone inscription and all because paper was not generated in that place they used to paint on walls they used to paint on caves okay they used to paint on rocks so whenever they used to use yellow color they used to use yellow powder uh, urine for yellow color uh, so orange color they used to use orange flowers red color soil they used to use for red color brown color soil they used to use so all those things were been used naturally in olden eras okay that was your olden era theory which the artists have been used so this theory has been designed in three perspective one perspective is your olden theory Olden color theory, which I have discussed with you all. Next is your invention color theory, wherein subtractive and additive color theory came into existence. Okay, which I already discussed. One is with James and one is with Newton. Next is your uh, modern color theory, which we are going to use now. Okay, so these all are the three color theories which were been discussed with you all, and uh, which I have I am bent worse that you all have understood that. and uh, now now however in result and never happens because as you go on mixing colors the purity of the color is lost and the resultant color becomes very dull and muddy as i said to you these are not they are not talking about the bottle colors they are talking about the natural colors okay in reality get, once gets a brownish dark gray at the end what i said to you gray color brownish blackish color you will get at the end there are many outstanding issues with uh, subtractive color theory since the colors are mixed with the loss loss the um, lumination and the resultant color shades orange mixing this all i have already given so no need to explain all these things again and again next is your color wheel which is uh, which i was talking see this is a called as a prime color wheel so whenever we will be selecting any colors or whenever we will be talking with colors we will be taking this color wheel as a prime color wheel okay now understanding prime color wheel is very very important because what happens in visual uh, arts in visual art because i take visual art subjects so in visual art in fundamental principles of art in fundamentals of art color theory and color wheel plays a very important and a crucial role and which was been designed by isaac newton in 16 uh, 1666 okay and he has uh, uh, gluten and then the oxygen albert and many other theory developers came and they discussed all those color theory color wheel and slowly and gradually this we can see there are very easiest way to define this color wheel because see the red color yellow color is very much yellow color is very much light in this now see i was talking about temperatures of color okay now if i divide this color over here 
okay this is your warm temperature this is your cool temperature because whenever you are observing the yellow red and orange part it is going to give you a warm effect on your eye and whenever i am observing the another part which is down part green blue and purple it is very cool colors because it's going to going to give you very cool effect on your eye level so just observe these things and just uh, make a uh, note of this particular things because this is very very important if for example if i'm hiding this place example if i'm hiding the warm shades just observe the cool shades it's going to give very very cool effect on your eye so this is the vice versa case as well as in warm colors as well so this was all about the color temperature which i discussed with you all now okay next next is red yellow and blue are considered as a primary color which we already saw combining those primary colors will give you secondary colors which we already saw combining of one primary and one secondary will give you tertiary colors which we already saw okay so these all are the neo uh, neo melatric stages of colors now what is this neo melatric uh, melatric stages of colors these all are the intensity based colors intensity in a sense darkness lightness and all see everyone can study uh, engineering everyone can study uh, commerce everyone can study science but visual art only those people can study those who have a proper visual knowledge and the art has been gifted by the god the so art is a god gifted thing and you all should be proud of yourself that you all are good in art because art is such a subject that can't be studied or that can't be understood with a layman person okay it is a very very uh, understandable subject it's out of observation it's out of clonical order it's out of uh, understanding and the terms are also very very tricky which you need to be very very cautious about the same okay so, so such as which is intensity i was talking about which is intensity is your darkness and lightness what is dark what is light is called as a intensity okay now uh, intensity termed as a uh, nomo a nomo clearus colors such as red blue yellow orange green violet which are very very popular and which are very very in trend okay now red is uh, red recognizes very sensitive colors okay so now color psychology also plays an important role now you can see in brand whenever we can see any brand like mcdonalds is a brand which is having yellow color which is having red and yellow because what happens red is a spicy yellow is a very uh, attractive color so they want to attract their brand okay facebook is uh, blue in color because blue defines communication green is growth growth or whatsapp color is green color those green defines growth okay like growing perspective growing of communication okay growing of reachability so there are color symbols as well in color symbols in example now example i will like to quote a very lame an example signal colors red green and yellow green symbolizes energetic like you need to be ready for ready to go green symbolizes growth in a sense you need to go now red symbolizes angry or red symbolizes your uh, uh, strength or red symbolizes your uh, danger so that's why they have symbolized red color in signal like now it's a danger you should wait green is now it's a growth point you should go now you have to be ready because it's yellow okay veg and non veg also defines the same veg sign is green color sign non veg sign is red color sign why it is that green diet is very much cool color green color is very much cool color vegetarian diets are very much cool which will give a digestive effect on your body which is very very cool down which is very very soft perhaps opposite to that we can see that uh, warm color or warm color is red so non veg sign also they have used red color because when you have non veg it's very very uh, what i should say 
it gives a very very warm effect on your on your stomach it's very very heavy so that is the logic behind using green color in non veg or there is a logic behind between red color using in non veg sign okay non veg and veg sign veg is denoted as green non veg is denoted as uh, red so these all are the logic which they apply using colors so color psychology plays a very important role in this as well because according to the psychology in my according to the trend of the colors design colors and move ahead with our work uh, strategy ahead okay now bring up let's see warm and cool temperature which i already said you all okay now moving ahead with your understanding of green color means color we the strategies the harmonies of color so harmonies of color in a sense sequence of color which they want to tell okay harmony in a sense how the color is creating a continuous pattern what's the harmony of the color what's the ha- hormones which have been included that in that color okay what's the combination which has been included in that color what's the mixture has been included in that color is called as your color harmony okay now red yellow and blue is your primary secondary is your orange red and violet okay tertiary is your reddish orange reddish yellow reddish green okay this is your tertiary see this color wheel is your tertiary color wheel okay wherein all the combinations of primer prime color wheel this is considered as a main color wheel so color wheel consists of 12 colors starting from yellow starting from yellow chrome yellow orange red orange red red violet 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 then blue violet blue blue green green yellow green okay so see this will take little time for you all because i teach approximately this is the 25th or 30th time i am teaching it to someone so every year i take all this topic every time i take all this topic so it is all very very fluent with me now so this is out of experience which it comes as you all will do it will become very very fluent with you all as well do not worry why i am so much fluent today because out of my practice so as you all will practice you will be also very much fluent in this case okay now moving ahead with your color wheel now this color wheel uh, a questions have been asked you you do not have a written paper in this okay those who have written paper i'm talking about them okay you do not have this written paper in this you all you all have to just understand the things okay so questions have been framed uh, according to this particular perspective okay now moving ahead with the visual world and with a visual visual is what what i'm again and again talking visual 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 is what visual is to think something to create an impression on someone okay or on someone in a sense not on a, not if i am a boy i want to create a impression on a girl or if i am a girl i want to create a impression on a boy it is not like that impression on a paper impression on a medium impression on a canvas impression on a sheet okay it is not a impression of a love impression it's not a romantic impression please don't take it in other way okay so if you want to create an impression on something or someone becomes your visualization first you will think you will imagine the things so imagination is different and visualization is different imagination is just to imagine visualization is to depict that imagination to dip, the process of depiction of that imagination is called as visualization and to imagine is to just think okay so till here clear all any doubt till here to anyone any oh, doubt till here okay why the strength has gone less no sir it was 15 people what happened what's your doubt quickly send me on whatsapp child where it is written allegation whatever it's written send me sir i have sent you personally i have sent yes sir send on group send on group personally so many people messages
personally sent uh, send on group sent yes let me see let me download it's getting downloaded okay this one okay this one is child uh, to blend the colors this is used to blend the colors okay yes sir whenever we want to blend the colors on a palette or whenever we want to make a smooth sequence we will use this thing okay but it is optional not so important it's used for blending <coughs> now clear any doubt till here any doubt to anyone sir yeah. uh, sir like the red yellow all those colors signifies something like the red da uh, danger strength all those things do the black and white color also signify something no because black and white is not a color that's why it does not signify yes okay, sir because see uh, black and in uh, apart from visual art black color signifies is hidden qualities it is according to astrology it is as astrology and phenology not according to visual art white symbolizes peace and black symbolizes hidden according to phenology and according to astrology this is but uh, in visual art black and white does not denote anything okay so for today i will stop here because you will get confused if i explain you all more color harmonies color schemes color scheme is the next chapter now see this is our next chapter which is color scheme wait let me display the screen wait see this is color wheel color wheel chapter till color wheel chapter we are done color harmonies and color scheme is a new chapter so we will start this new chapter tomorrow because you all will get confused okay so today we have talked about uh, rules of painting strategies of painting history of painting importance of painting colors of uh, color theory uh, color wheel we have discussed okay color wheel we have discussed uh, color temperature we have discussed okay these all things we have discussed today and uh, tips and tones for painting we have discussed next class we will discuss the color scheme and uh, next class is what next class is on today is 13 next class is 20 20 20 is the next class 20 we will have the class right and we'll miss yes sir because okay. the vacation is from 21st june okay okay the vacation is from 21st june the monday 20, next monday 21st june okay so 20 we will have then no problem okay then